Yes, people, welcome to another Chelsea video of mine. Daily videos, daily streams, keeping you guys up to date with all the latest Chelsea news around the world. Transfers, gossip, everything. If you guys are liking the suit as well, smash the like button. One click, one like helps on the channel. Subscribe and hit the notification. We have a lot to be talking about. Cole Palmer, Conor Gallagher, Jao Felix, and a lot more. Even Nicholas Jackson, new deal potentials or what. Congratulations to Cole Palmer. New contract. We'll get straight into it, of course. I think the total takes him until 2033. Nine years. Nine years, people, at Chelsea. The face of Chelsea Football Club. Cole Palmer has signed a two-year extension, keeping him at Chelsea until 2033. They were on signed the first to break it out, of course, with the big news. I mean, look, what was it? Over 30 goals and assists, uh, breaking it records after records after records i think it was 29 minutes or hat trick in premier league Didier Drogba did that uh, across two seasons this guy done it across one season one one game and it was just yeah the guy just destroyed it basically even though chelsea were average throughout the season he was mr chelsea for sure well deserved i'm i'm very happy about this i mean <laughs> a nine-year contract is a bit wild but look for us that is very very good news a uh, couple has been rewarded with a pay increase i'm hearing the increase will be around what enzo fernandez and casado currently get around 120 to 150 thousand a week however obviously chilwell uh, sterling are still around 200 to 300 thousand a week currently so he's not as high as them but i'm sure he will get there very very soon we also have other news Dina drogba have been both messaging um, and Mikel have been messaging Victor Osherman about a move to Chelsea, which we'll talk about very, very shortly. Um, Pedro Neto had his first training session with Chelsea. He was a uh, great welcome from all the players. And as I said, 120,000, um, just over that a week for Cole Palmer, a similar wage to Enzo and Casado. Uh, Nicholas Jackson, we'll be talking about him extending his deal very, very soon as well. Um, but Felix, Felix, this is the one that we want to hear about. Discussions are still continuing between the two clubs, Chelsea and Atletico. But Atletico, they have to press the button and sign the documents. Chelsea have ordered the player back to London because it makes no sense for him to be in Spain. It's a very tense situation, difficult terms of getting the deal over the line. Now, as we know, Conor Gallagher has been in Spain for the past five to seven days. This guy's just been waiting for the deal to be done. From what we understand, medicals are complete. Everything has been done on his side. He is ready to move. However, Atletico Madrid have not put the signatures, the final signatures that Fabrizio Rona has been reporting on. And I've always said transfer news were kind of behind by one or two days. Maybe you'll see some news overnight after you see this video. There might be something that's coming out very, very soon. So hopefully this gets done. As we know, Chelsea have around 43 players in this in the current squad. We need to get it down to about 23 to 25 um, because Enzo Marisco will have a massive, massive issue if this is not sorted. Um, very, very interesting stat here. Average wage bill under Roman Roma is 200000 a week. Average wage bill under Clear Lake around 60000 a week with incentives for performance and team achievements. I mean, it makes sense so far. Gallagher is flying back to London. I wouldn't say they've, they've officially stood in negotiations, but that's what we're seeing from different sources. Uh, Fabrizio Romano has said Conor Gallagher is on his way back, all done between the player and the club. Documents and medical signed by Atletico have not signed the final signatures. Now, Jao Felix, this is a very, very good one here. A good source has told me that Chelsea are studying an offer that could reach 50 million between fixed and variable, and this would go in the next 48 hours. Mendes is in London. Atletico told Chelsea 60 million. A lot of silence at the moment, and that is usually a good thing. We are waiting for this to be done ASAP. Um, I mean, Jao Felix, they basically want the player gone. Uh, I remember a couple of years ago, it was around 120 million pounds. His value now we're hearing around 40 to 45 million. Obviously, with installments paying less now up front, we could push around to that 50 60 million euros. So let's see what happens. I hope this deal is done. I hope I, I, you know what I don't want to see this being delayed anymore. I just want to see a player at this football club. I've been talking about, um. Jao Felix, Cole Palmer, uh, and Kenku Neto. I mean, look, the attack sounds really, really good, by the way. I don't know if you look and see that drink in the background. 
that Red Bull special edition. It's all right. It's all right. I was expecting a bit more. Um, I don't know if you guys know Purdy's. It basically t- tastes like that, in my opinion. Same thing, but just way more expensive because of the brand. Anyway, back to the news. Um, hopefully, we see these attackers come through. Um, the midfield looks great, as I said in my last video. And we just need to fix up the defence. But like I said, people keep smashing the light button, man. Look, man's just dressed up for you guys. I'll be real with you. Just come out from a wedding. And I thought, you know what? Let's get some content out there, man. Big up Syndra, big up Alfred. Always support the channel. And everyone that's been asking me to do more videos and streams will be back all the time, people, hopefully. Well, this is the first time four days in a row uh, with, with content. So, Nicholas Jackson, which we were talking about right here as well. Uh, Chelsea want to extend another two years and reward him for his impressive first season. I mean, at times, he was very frustrating. Uh, when I watched him at Wolves away in December 2023, I think it was, uh, Christmas Eve, where no one wanted to travel. You know, me, Papa Chelsea, still travelled there and made sure... You know, support the club home and away. Um, he was shocking. He was absolutely shocking. But I think in the new year, 2024, he was actually decent. Um, unfortunately, he didn't put away his chances most of the times. But his overall play, setting up the ball, you know, I feel like his game was was there. I don't think he was a bad player, in my opinion. So, yeah, it's his first season. He can do really, really well. And hopefully uh, he gets better. And it was reported that he was unsettled as well. So, yeah. Maybe Chelsea offering another deal to keep him happier and maybe more fun as well. So I'm not really against that either, in my opinion. So, um, yeah. Um, Osman, of course, which which we want to hear. John Obi McKell says him and Didier Drogba have been both messaging and calling Osman about a move to Chelsea. Obviously, you can see uh, the video on social media where he's explaining it and just basically telling us, yeah, we're trying the best. Um Chelsea want to only do it on a loan basis because of FFP and also want to make sure the wages are a lot lower than what is on at Napoli. He must be on big, big wages, of course. Um, do I think that's going to happen? Probably not. A, a loan would be a dream come true, in my opinion, uh, and maybe sign him on a permanent after. But for right now, Nkenku, Nicholas Jackson, Neto, Cole Palmer, Felix, for me, that is good enough. Osman would be a massive boost as well. Don't get me wrong. Sterling can go. But the way K, you know, if he stays, EA Sports is in the game. Him, Broha, Jao Felix, EA Sports and that. Look, I'm all up for vibes. He's a very, very good player on his day. But if a good, good offer comes in, the club will definitely react and see that as a move to to let him go, of course. But if it was my choice... I would keep my doke. Um, let's see how many options we have. It's a long season. We've got the Conference League as well. Don't forget that. Um, there's a definitely a lot of games to play for. And I think for our confidence boost, we need to get that trophy in because Chelsea win every single trophy there is out there for sure. So, you yeah, guys, let me know what you're thinking about Cole Palmer's deal, Osterman to Chelsea, um, Conor Gallagher back to London, Felix to Chelsea. We're hearing Gusto could also get maybe a new deal because uh, he was also a very, very... I think he was probably our best player. Um, well, actually, no. What am I talking about? That's P.Y.S.'s opinion. Yeah. I, I can echo that. He was very, very good for Chelsea, in my opinion. Obviously, Reece James being out. I mean, he was going to miss the first couple of games. I think it's a free game suspension from last season anyway. So he would have missed some of these games. And they were the international break. So he can take his time coming back. Gusto, for me, can start as a right back, right wing back. Let's see what happens for me. Definitely, definitely well deserved. Um, if he used to get another deal, but yeah, like I said, people, Jao Felix to Chelsea, hopefully, very, very soon. Um, we'll keep you guys up to date every single day on this channel. Make sure you lot smash the like button, subscribe, and hit the notification. One click, one like helps out the channel. Help me get to 31,000 subscribers. Tell your friends, come and tune in. I only, you know, publicize my videos on YouTube and Instagram. CFC Chelsea with a double S at the end. CFC. Uh, C H E L S S. Put in the description, or if you comment down below, I'll just reply. Um, and you can catch all content over there. If you guys got any questions, let us know in the comments down below. A lot of people saying, um, fans are crying about we want proper players that want to play for the badge, and then we let go of Gallagher, but then want Felix. Felix wants to stay at Chelsea as well, man. Uh, I don't really understand why people are against uh, this player. I know there's a lot of hate for him when he was here, but he was probably one of our best players as well. Um, obviously kept hitting the post against Dortmund, against, uh, I think it was 
West Ham maybe. No, he's got a great goal against West Ham. I can't remember who else it was, but there was times where he kept hitting the post and it was frustrating, but he made things happen, man. But yeah, guys, smash the like button, subscribe, and we'll see you guys very soon, man. Big up, Sindri. Big up, Alfred. Big up, Nippin. And I'm out, man.